Hey everyone, this is Tristan from Amazopia.com, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use Instapaper if you're a Kindle owner. Now here I am at Instapaper.com, and as it says right here, Instapaper is a simple tool to save web pages for reading later, and that's exactly what it does. Um, for our purposes here, I'm going to show you how um, how you can save pages to read later on your Kindle. So this is what it looks like when you've logged in and after you've saved a bunch of of articles to read. But let's say um, I'm just browsing the web and I come across an article and I want to read it later on my Kindle. Re uh, Instapaper provides a little read later bookmarklet which I have right here and I also have a Chrome extension for it um, called Instachrome. Even though that's not an official Instapaper uh, Chrome extension, it still works great. So let's say I want to read this later on my Kindle. All you have to do is click the Read Later bookmarklet, and then it's saved to your Instapaper account. So that article was called Why It Makes Sense for Amazon to Open Its Own Stores. If I reload my, uh, my Instapaper account here, you can see the top article is Why It Makes Sense for Amazon to Open Its Own Stores. Now, you can read these on your computer. For example, you can just click the text button right here. and It gives you a nice text-only uh, view of that article without having to deal with ads and, and uh, social media icons and all that other stuff. But the neat part is down here on the right side where it says download. And so let's say you've spent a while racking up all these articles that you want to read later um, and you want to read them on your Kindle, all you do is press the Kindle button and that should start downloading here in my browser. Any time now, I don't know why it's taking so long, it usually doesn't take this long. Okay, yeah, so there it is. Um, so you can see it's saved as a .mobi file, which is what uh, Kindles read. And so you can just email this to yourself uh, or to your um, your Kindle email address, or you can transfer it via USB to your Kindle. And I'll show you what that looks like, uh, what that document or what that file looks like uh, on a Kindle. All right, so I just sent the Instapaper file to my Kindle. You can see it's arrived here. It says Instapaper, Monday, February 6, 2012. That's today's date. The neat thing about this is that the Kindle treats it as a magazine, so you can easily switch between articles really easily. Instead of having to just press the page over button over and over and over again to get to the next article, you can just press the arrow right here on the uh, little navigation uh, button thing. So you can see here why it makes sense for Amazon to open its own stores. If I want to go to the next article, it says down here, I don't know if you can read this, but it says uh, the Lean Publishing Manifesto. Just click over, and here we go, the Lean Publishing Manifesto. The next article, a Weber email marketing tips, and once I'm in or at the article that I want, then you can just, uh, you know, press the page turn button as always. So it's a pretty neat uh, pretty neat little little tool here for for Kindle owners. So uh, if you read a lot online but would like to read more in your Kindle uh, be sure to download Instapaper and um, sign up for it and all that good stuff and let me know if you have any questions. Again this is Tristan from Amazopia.com the unofficial Amazon blog and thanks for watching.